Okay. Cool. I'm for gonna, the W. For the W. I'm gonna jump out there. I'm gonna I'm gonna say defense as well. <laughs> and I'm I'm I, I'm pretty sure he did. <laughs> Give me J.J. Watt. J.J. Watt did not win oh, NFL damn. MVP. He did win. Left and left and right. He did win NFL Defensive Player of the Year for God. three straight years. He didn't win MVP, though. He did not win wow. MVP. Uh, Al, it's back on you. You back in. Back in. Every Incredible. time you try to Damn get away, Pooh pulls you back back in. Oh, uh, and I know Cam what Newton. Cam Newton. Cam Newton is on oh, the list. Dear. Hey, Jay, as soon as I say it, then I, I think I got one. God. Who you got, Pooh? Let me get, uh, isn't it uh, Rich Gannon for the Raiders? When Rich they Gannon, went the... 2002. Yes, sir. Look at that. Look at that. Crazy. Wow. Yeah, we went Rich Gannon. Look at that crap. Look at that crap. Wow, it's pretty big names on this list, y'all are missing. Um, Randy Moss. Randy Moss no. is not on this list. No, no, Pooh. gosh, no. For the victory. Jay, it's all, hey, it's all over. Give me Steve Young. Steve Young, 1994, <laughs> for the win. And new. Wow. Hey, <laughs> triple overtime. So, hey, I'm, I'm back where I belong. You are back where you are. Back in familiar territory. <laughs> Uh, key on this first one is going to eat you alive. 2016 MVP Matt Ryan of the oh, Atlanta Falcons. Oh, I forgot. Oh, wow. I forgot already. Wow. I tried to wipe out last year, man. <laughs> my, my memory. Uh, 2015 Cam Newton. 14 Aaron Rodgers. 13 Peyton Manning. 12 Adrian Peterson. 11 Rodgers. 2010 Brady. 9 and 8. 09 and 08 Peyton Manning. 07 Brady. 2006 Ladanian Tomlinson. Oh, O T. Two thousand five, Sean Alexander. Oh. Two thousand four, oh, wow. Peyton Manning. Two thousand three, Peyton Manning co MVP mm-hmm. with Steve McNair. Two thousand two, Rich Gannon. O one, Kurt Warner. Two thousand, Marshall Falk. Ninety nine, Kurt Warner. Nineteen ninety eight, mm-hmm. Terrell Davis of the Denver Broncos. Oh, T D. Wow. Nineteen ninety seven, Favre and Sand- Favre and Brett and Barry Sanders co MVPs. Uh, 95, 96 and 95 Brett Favre, 94 Steve Young, 93 Emmett Smith, 92 Steve Young, and 91 Thurman Thomas of the Buffalo Thurman. Bills. I thought about Thurman. Thurman. I thought about I Thurman. Yo, we had most hey. of that list though. You did? Yeah, we had, we had a lot. Yeah, we had yeah, a lot. I, I didn't hey, go back further than that because uh, it would have got really hard. Yeah. Who um who wanted that year that that the Chris Johnson rushed for the two thousand because normally you get it when you rush for two thousand. But who, who won it that year when Johnson ran for two thousand? Mm, what what year was that? Oh eight. Oh eight. Who? Peyton Manning. Yeah. Wow. Did they did they shaft him? Did they shaft Johnson? Oh, well, that might have been Chris Johnson. Oh man, I don't know what what year did with because Chris Johnson came out of the draft. With Rashard Mendenhall and Darren McFadden. What year was that? Well, 2008, right? 2008, yeah. So that 2,000-yard season would have been 2010 because that was in his third year. So that was Tom Brady won it that year. Uh, Kind of tough to shaft that, but yeah. I don't know, man. Because normally if the running back get 2,000, they win it, man. Yeah. 2000. It in, he, ran, he did it in 2010? Yeah. I don't – we can Google it, isn't it? Um, 2009, 2010. But if you look at, like, if he did it in 2009, that was the year Peyton Manning broke the touchdown record. Okay. And in oh, 2010, okay. that was the year Tom Brady had Randy Moss, and they broke the touchdown uh-huh. record together. So, oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's tough. So let me ask Jay's totally off subject. Who who you think won the trade for yeah. um, Vic for, for, for Lazanian Thomas in 01? <clears throat> like the Falcons yeah. or, the, or the Chargers, who um, won that? Easily, San Diego won that. They won it, man. Because because they got because they also got Drew Brees in that trade, didn't they? Ah, uh, yep. yep. Yeah, oh, they did. The they did. They did. <laughs> so since they got what, Brees not? and Tomlinson, like the Falcons, oh, one waffle. No, no, the they Falcons, traded back. Yeah, the Falcons traded, traded, traded back, up to up. number one and gave up yeah. their their the fifth overall pick and their second round pick. 
Oh, that was the charger used to get Drew Brees. Okay. Oh, damn. I didn't even remember that. Okay. I thought it. Okay. I, I, remember, that. I remember that day I remember vividly. That. I was uh I was in teach uh in uh in Chili's eating a triple play, and uh, they made that. <laughs> I remember that. Um, but yeah. Um, so on the heels of your uh of your return to victory, Thomas Stevens, what you got for me for your parting shot? Uh, I just like to say we we started back to school down here in Richmond School District One. Uh, parents, when you drop your kids off to school, please make sure that they know what bus to to get on that went when school departs. Just don't leave them without knowing yeah. how they're gonna get home. Uh, mm-hmm. We were there till about five o'clock today. So, um, all parents, your kids going to school, please ensure that that <laughs> that you've done all the proper paperwork to know how they're getting home that day. That's all I have for you. And for some yeah. reason, I agree with you, Pooh. For some reason, I just pictured you riding, walking around sweaty in a tight suit with a bull horn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now, I was, I was pretty relaxed today. I had on some, I had on my school shirt, yeah. uh, my school shirt and some, some like khaki, some blue khakis. And the, the young, young lady really played me. I, I had mm. to, uh, you know, I had to, I had to put, pull the story out of my hat. So she was like, hey, sir, you know, what do you do out here? How you doing, sir? So it was like four or five, you know, young ladies. They asked me, what are you doing? Oh, you look so young. You, you down on your Jordans. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I do. It was like, right, you didn't tell us. What do you do out here? Are you the janitor? And I was like, <laughs> damn. Wow. And I was like, I said, wow, out of all the things that ask me what I am, you guys come out and say the janitor? Wow. So, so tomorrow I'm going to go in a three-piece suit. Are you for real? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna wear like a jacket and all. Like, all right, you know, I mean, it's not against the custodian. You know, my my, you know, when my pop was older. You know, he was a custodian. Yeah, I, I don't have, yeah. a, you know, I don't, I'm not knocking him. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, all right, Keon, what you got for me? What's your parting shot? All right, I'm, I'm gonna tell a quick joke. Uh, rest in peace to uh, Dick, Dick Gregory. I'm not gonna tell a joke. I'm gonna read his joke. Okay. All right. <clears throat> He says, uh, we tried to integrate a restaurant, and they said, we don't serve color folk here. And I said, well, I don't eat color folk nowhere. Bring me some pork chops. <laughs> and, and, then, and then the Ku Klux Klan came in, and the woman said, we don't have no pork chops. So I said, well, bring me a whole fried chicken. And then the Ku Klux Klan said, whatever you do to that chicken, boy, we're going to do to you. So I opened up his legs, kissed the rump. And tell you all, be my guest. <laughs> R.I.P. to Dick Gregory's legend. Dick Gregory, gotta love him. R.I.P. <laughs> oh, what you got for me? Uh, yeah, let me just uh, definitely uh, co-sign what uh, Pooh and Key just dropped. Um, definitely rest in peace, Dick Gregory. Uh, remember, he actually came up to my college and spoke. Oh, and wow. as funny as that man was, wow. he like opened my mind to issues of just being black in this society. And he was part of that. So shout out to Dick Gregory because he's definitely done that to a whole lot of other people in this world. We're going to miss him. Yeah. Um, my, let's see, what do I want to say? Um, my part in shot, you know, I'm, I'm just getting back into town. I spent yesterday in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Okay. Um, and I had the opportunity to speak to 40 high school students. Okay. Um, black, brown, Asian, blacks from Minnesota, blacks from Africa, blacks from the Caribbean. Um, and just talk to them about helping getting their goals and values and purpose and all of that right. But what was so crazy is the setting was one of the, um, one, like a private school, like a very, very rich private school. And these are students who were selected to come to the school. So that, you know, many of them aren't even paying to access the resources that only the rich. Are. So it was just kind of a cool day to wow. see kids that look like me, like being given the opportunity that I wish every child in this country and this world got the opportunity to be in, you know, like where you got the resources and clean environments and good teachers who care about you. So it's unfortunate to see, 
you know, that everybody doesn't have it, but it was kind of cool to see that some of the kids are getting it. So that's my part of shot. Right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, really quickly, I want to shout out the uh, the Indianapolis Colts for totally acting like it's cool that Andrew Luck might miss uh, week one or week two of the season. Um, they are content with rolling with Scott Tozine as their uh, starting quarterback moving forward for right now. Um, I applaud the Indianapolis Colts because now I know I'm not the stupidest person in the world. Uh, you know, as, as, as sometimes as much as I say Andrew Luck may be a little overrated, there is no way I'm even cutting my grass with a guy named Scott Tozine when Andrew Luck might be available. So kudos to you, Indianapolis Colts. At least I know my Steelers won't finish with the worst record in the AFC. <laughs> That uh, might be the chance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to leave them out of it. Um, I, I got a question, Jay. I got a quick question on what you just said. Yeah. Are he Is he too – I don't understand. He can't play or they're saying – He's coming they off just... of shoulder surgery. So they are – instead of preparing for him not being available, they just uh, stuck with Tozin throughout they – didn't, they didn't sign any insurance. So. I see. I see. Yeah. So no Kaepernick. Or, yeah, yeah, like nothing. Yeah, yeah. They just said, right. hey, you're rolling with Scott. Yeah. And uh, we're going to see what that gets him. Probably, <laughs> uh, probably an updated resume and a pink slip. So yeah. We'll Deserve it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, anyway, uh, good job, guys. Great show. A um, lot of juice going on today. So um, continue enjoying the preseason. Uh, we'll continue analyzing this trade. I'm sure we're going to have much more to text about throughout the next week or so. Uh, but again, right. great show. Uh, we will talk to everyone in about six days and 22 hours. Uh, oh, yeah. Until that time, defy life. Super fight, defy life. <laughs> ah, defy life. <laughs> Super fight. <laughs>